Let's see here. Yellow cake, uh, flour, sugar, shortening, milk, baking powder. Why do we need all these ingredients anyway? I don't have time for all this. I just put in some, I don't know, some flour, and, and some milk, and well, an egg. out there are a few reasons for all those different ingredients in a cake recipe. Let me show you what I mean. Hi there. On today's show we're going to bake a simple layer cake. That's right. You know, baking is very much like, well, constructing a building. You have different building materials that, when combined properly, give you a structure that's stable, yet looks good. Flavor aside, that's really what you're trying to do when you bake something like a cake. Build a stable, yet appetizing structure. So how do we do that? Well, the first thing our cake needs is stability. It has to have a certain volume and stiffness to it. The volume and stiffness for our cake come from flour. Flour contains two proteins, gliadin and glutenin. Now these two proteins alone are not terribly useful, but add water and mix and they change into a third protein, gluten. Gluten molecules resemble fishing line. As you continue to stir your flour water mixture, the gluten molecules become tangled. Add heat and the tangled mass solidifies, providing the cake with stiffness. Look at that. Pretty stiff, huh? I know what you're thinking. Okay, flour plus water plus heat equals stiffness. But wait a minute, Mike. There's no mention of water in your typical cake recipe. So where does the water for this chemical reaction come from? Well, it comes from eggs and milk. As well as adding the necessary water to the recipe, eggs and milk help give the cake its flavor and characteristic yellow-brown color. But you know, we have a problem here. You see, if you take a closer look at this, you'll notice, well, it's a little too stiff. You see, you need a certain amount of gluten to give your cake stiffness. But if the flour absorbs too much water, too much gluten is produced, and you end up with something like this, and this, my friends, is only good for one thing. Pull! Hey, shooting. So, how do we prevent the flour from absorbing too much water? Well, that's where two of the other main ingredients in our recipe come in. Sugar and butter. The sugar absorbs water itself, leaving less water for the flour to absorb. Butter works differently. It covers some of the flour particles with an oily coating, so they can't absorb water. So, to produce the proper amount of stiffness for our cake, we need the proper ratio of flour, to sugar, to butter, to milk, to eggs. Which is why following the recipe is so important. Great, but we're not finished yet. You see, we may have the proper amount of stiffness, but if we were to bake this batter as it stands, well, we'd still end up with a rather flat, dense cake. We want that characteristic light, moist, spongy consistency. Now, to do that, we need a special ingredient. A rock. What? Uh, well, actually, it's what's inside the rock. It's a mineral called sodium bicarbonate. You and I know it better as baking soda. Whoa. Now, baking soda alone won't do much for you, but add an acidic substance like vinegar and viola. 
the baking soda and vinegar react to produce bubbles of carbon dioxide gas. Now, we've harnessed this reaction by combining baking soda with an acid in one convenient package. Baking powder. Add water to the baking powder and you get the same chemical reaction. Bubbles of carbon dioxide gas. During mixing, the baking powder reacts with the water from the milk and eggs to form carbon dioxide gas. The gas in turn creates air pockets in the batter. Now it's time for the final and most important step in our recipe, the oven. Now, two important things happen when you put batter into a hot oven. The heat causes the pockets of carbon dioxide gas in the batter to expand, which makes the cake rise. At the same time, it causes the gluten in the batter to solidify. And if you follow the recipe carefully, you should end up with a masterpiece like I put together here. Hey Mike, uh, where do I put the box the cake came in? I'll set that over here, thanks. <laughs>